What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. Let me tell you one thing. I think Five Below is really giving other alcohol marker brands a run for their money. Here's the crazy part. Five Below carried markers that look like this. They actually look like Prismacolor markers. But here's a here's a good part. They got brush tip markers too. So I reviewed uh, Five Below markers not too long ago and they didn't have a really good color selection. Like the worst color selection you could ever get out of cheap markers. They got some skin tones and some grays and stuff like that which I'll go over later on in the video. And I said, oh my god, they got brush tips. So if you go to Five Below and you see some markers, you might end up seeing these. They have the alcohol markers, it's a 12 count. And they have assorted colors meaning there's a there's one marker for each hue so like there's a yellow there's a red there's a green a purple a blue and all that stuff so let's open it and see so as you guys know a lot of cheap markers don't have brush tips so I really doubt these markers would so let's open them up see they have a bullet tip and they have a chisel tip so yeah and they look kind of identical to the the Prismacolor markers. Let me grab one and show you. And see, it looks almost identical in a way. And they also came out with a skin tone set. It says uh, flesh tones and grays. It's the same thing with just a little bit more colors. So let me open that one up. According to the cast, they have a good selection of skin tones, but I have a feeling, since they are cheap markers, that they're not going to have a good selection of skin tones. And uh, since they are alcohol markers, they would be able to blend with each other better. Again, they're cheap markers, so they may not be as good as Copic markers in terms of blending. So, Five Below came out with some markers with brush tips and there's a skin tone set and a gray set they don't have a set like these in assorted colors they're just a skin and a brush i was surprised to see this because there are a lot of cheap markers that don't have brush tips so a lot of these kinds of markers won't be easy to find so let's open these up Ugh, there was only six in each pack. I don't even want to use them anymore. So according to these caps, I think these are a cool gray. And let's see. These have a small chisel tip and a really triangular looking brush tip. And let's stop for a second and compare these to uh, Copic markers. And they're not oval shaped like the Copic markers. They kind of look like Copic chows. Yeah, they kind of do look like Copic chows in a way. See, they look almost identical except the one on the five below markers look kind of not cheap but longer. So I have a feeling they're more flexible than Copic markers. Now with the 6 skin tone set and the 6 gray set and then the 2 12 pack of the chisel tip markers that I have and the 10 markers that I reviewed a while back. So I only have 46 colors to work with and only like less than 50% of them have brush tips. I can blend with the skin tone but when it comes to blending everything else it may be a challenge because with like the assorted color set I may have to use the grays to kind of help me blend but they're cool grays. It may not be the best result so so let's put these markers to the test and create a full color illustration with every five below marker that the store has to offer. So before I get into talking about the performance of these markers, let me talk to you a little bit about the inspiration from the drawing in which I got from an episode of OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes from Cartoon Network. It's about this boy named KO who reveals like footage of his co-workers in like high school I think. And there was this little snapshot that I saw which I think my original characters would be good for. But I tried to modify that concept in a way so it'd be like... I'm trying to help you, do you need help or anything? So I have my hand out, but in that scene, the guy didn't have his hand out. I think his name is uh, Rad. His, yeah, he didn't have his hand out, but for my original character, I wanted to put it, I wanted to like do that. Just to show the viewers that, hey, I'm lending a hand, you need some help or anything, you know, stuff like that. So that's where the inspiration came from. Okay, now talking about the markers. So with the chisel tip markers, I can't really expect much out of blending. So I tried my best to blend but most of the colors I needed for the blending were in the set with the chisel tip markers so I can't really expect much out of blending but there were a few spots in the drawing where I needed red so I included red and then a darker shade of red would be like a brown because I only have the cool grays and that's like one of the only other colors that I have that can blend red but 
it's going to like be too dark because it's a cool gray and then red is a warm color. So I had to throw in some brown because uh, brown is a shade of orange and orange is like somewhat similar to a red. So I used brown as a shade of the red and I tried to blend that in as much as I can. And I did my best in terms of blending those two colors together. The skin tones weren't bad either, but my only complaint is I just wish there were a lot of dark tones for me to work with because there weren't a lot of dark browns in either one of the skin tone sets. There was a dark brown only in like the brush tip set and that's it. Also, when I'm doing a light skin tone, I'm okay with working with like a pink or a more saturated pink. I tried to find a shade for a skin tone, but the only shade I could find was like a, a ochreish color. I had to work with it because it was the only other shade of skin tone that I had. And it was, uh, I mean, it's not going to look pretty in the final drawing, but hey, I tried my best. It is a little bit like a skin tone in a way. I just wish it were like more peachy and more pale. Back when I worked with the other markers, there were only 10 colors. There were two greens that I was able to blend together, so I tried to use that in today's drawing, since I didn't show myself blending it in that video. I also did that with the other colors that I was able to work with, like blue and purple and, you know, other colors. I tried to blend all of those colors throughout, because I didn't want the piece to be too much of one hue, you know? Basically, I just wanted to use every 5 below marker and try to blend a color with another color in the drawing. Also with these brush tip markers, they came with a chisel tip and they were dual ended. So I wanted to have a, like a big area for me to color with a chisel tip. So I drew some lockers in the background. I didn't want like a big like empty background because you know I don't like empty backgrounds. So I wanted to I want to put something back there. I didn't know what to color the lockers, so I wanted to use like one of my grays since I didn't really use a lot of gray in this piece. Plus what the characters are doing it's most likely to happen in school. So, you know, it kind of, it makes sense to put it there. I also added a checkered floor only to test how well I am with coloring with markers because the last video, I went outside the lines and Five Below does not offer a colorless blender. So this is the final result of me using every Five Below marker in an illustration. Let me know what you guys thought of the drawing. I think it looks pretty well, but I don't really think they're worthy of being in my collection. I'm sorry. But hey, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Before I end the video, I just want to ask y'all to do me a quick favor. Give this video a like and a comment. And also subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.